All right, man. So this video, I just want to sidetrack a little bit and talk about mirroring in uh, ZBrush and uh, its relation with the uh, local symmetry. And then uh, there are actually two methods to mirroring, and then I'll show you both right now. Okay, so let's get started. Before I start, just want to uh, keep in mind this scene is right at the middle just now, and then I've uh, resetted it back to the original zero axis. The uh, head is facing the front. That means uh, on the left side, this is the x-axis. And then when you mirror it to the right side, this is done on the x-axis because the head is facing the front. Okay, so just take note of that. If your head is facing the side, you're probably using the z-axis. Okay, so uh, orientate it toward the front when you want to follow this video. All right, so uh, if you just want to talk about this a little bit, you can right click and drag to make this window smaller. All right, so Mirror and Weld is the button that we are going to use and I'll keep the local symmetry on just to show you the implications of it right now. Oh, did I just delete that? Okay, sorry. So I accidentally deleted that. So I just want to kind of create the body again. Okay, so first I want to duplicate the head. Duplicate the head and then I'll just move it to the left side and then I'll scale it down a little bit smaller. Okay, so what will happen if I have my local symmetry on when I were to local, local symmetry on when I do a mirror and well? So what will happen is that this, this uh, part of the model, instead of mirroring to the other side, you will just do a mirror right at the locally, at the local symmetry. So you will generate a line at the locally and uh, we will you will mirror and then you will weld the points there. So let me show you. Bam. Okay, so it, you can see it created a line in the center and it welds all the points together. So sometimes it's actually really useful, like uh, when we are modeling and we just want everything to be done on this section itself. But sometimes if you want to, everything to be um, sent to the other side of the model, okay, remember to off the local symmetry and then you'll be able to do that to the other side. So now I have it off. Okay, local symmetry is off and then I'll try mirror again. Bam. So the mirror appears on the other side. Okay, so now if I were to on my symmetry, you know, I can uh, fully move this uh, very well. I can bring this back here. I can shape it. I can sculpt it. Okay, so it works pretty well. Uh, as long as you know what you're doing, you can always get the symmetry back very easily. Okay, so just want to show you that. Another way of uh, creating a symmetry, let me show you. So I'll duplicate this upwards and then I'll, I'll do a mask on this side. Then I'll hide point, delete hidden close hole. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna use another method to mirror this to the other side again. Okay. So let me show you. So the other method is also over here. I created the uh, sub two master. This is a very big button over here. And then this sub two master actually has a lot of buttons, and one of it is mirror. So what this mirror does, it will give you a new uh, pop up window, and then it will ask you whether you want to do it on the x axis, z axis. It's just a little bit more clear, and then it also asks you whether you want to merge them as one sub two or as a different sub two. So it gives you more options. It's a little bit more clear, and then uh, it sometimes makes a bit more sense. But you can see it's kind of the same thing. So I have these two objects on a separate object right now. And uh, I can merge them back together if I want to. So I can go down here and say merge down. So these two objects is just one sub two together. Okay, so you may be wondering, this two is so similar. Why is there a need for this two? So, um, I'll tell you my uh, my take on this. So long ago, uh, ZBrush probably only has Mirror and Well, and then Mirror and Well is actually really good for Mirror and Well is actually really good for um, just regaining the symmetry back on your model, no matter what. Okay, that's my take on it. The let's say I were to uh, create an alien head, you know, like something long and crazy over here okay i just want to keep it fast because i'm just illustrating a point so something that breaks the center line and then to the other side and then uh, maybe suddenly now you want you're thinking hey i want to actually create 
back the symmetry and I want the symmetry to be perfect because it's kind of annoying to us when we can't get the symmetry perfect right so what do we do when we want to get a perfect symmetry back so this is actually the best so this mirror and well is best when we want to regain symmetry okay this is the best what this uh, sub 2 master and then there's a wind mirror right there's a mirror button here what this is best is it uh is best for separating and have having clear having separating and having clear separate meshes okay so 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 in that sense this tool is very different let me take a screenshot so that i can share it next time as well so the if you just want to regain the symmetry you should use this so for example now if i have this object over here i'll do a duplicate in case later i need to fall back on this backup copy if i do a mirror and well tom okay so mirror and well everything that overshots it just cuts away and then it also helps you to wipe do well in the center so it allows you to regain the symmetry back very easily and then you can keep sculpting you will lose some details okay because uh, just now those uh, exceeding polygons are deleted right but i think this is really clean this is really clean uh, anytime that uh, you let's say i accidentally make it asymmetrical again and then so i kind of screw up in a sense but i know Mineral and well will save me. As long as I press this button here, I'll gain it back. You see? I'll gain back all my symmetry. And then I can just press X. I'll have my symmetry back. Okay, so let me off this. I'll go back to this. What happens if I use sub 2 master mirror? Okay, so once again, it gives you the option. I can choose as a different sub 2. So as you see, you can uh, join as one sub 2. Or you can be uh, sorry, I didn't close the window. Or you can have it as a different sub tool. So this is actually best to create a different sub tool. But and if you want to regain symmetry, I wouldn't say this is as good because why? I'll show you. When you uh try to combine a mesh, it will tell you a bracket. The combined mesh is like this, and then yo, why does it disappear? Okay, it's showing me here. So it combines the mesh. But the, I feel that the welding may not be as clean. Okay, so actually this time it's pretty clean, but I have instance where I don't think it's actually clean. So anyway, that's just my take on it. And I also think that mirror and well is actually more straightforward. It's just one button click, whereas this one I need to press three buttons. So if I want to press three buttons, I kind of only want to have a very clear sense of where my... Uh, where my have a very clear sense of where my mesh want to be if i want to separate them into separate meshes okay but yeah just know that it's possible as well you can also mirror them into one sub two it combines the mesh pretty well and you can see the main thing is it actually retains the standard mesh as well so that fundamentally is different from uh, mirror and well so depending on whether you want to deal with one button or three button depending on how comfortable you are and how you understand this tool and i've placed both of these mirror buttons in the interface and i hope you know uh, how to use them as well okay so anyway yeah so you stretch the mesh and then we i can just re mesh this and then uh, keep sculpting all right i think uh, that's all for mirroring for now i'll see you in the next video Bye bye